Okay, let's go ahead and create a simple example that can reinforce what we've learned so far. We're going to do this really fast. We'll just create a couple of buttons on a blank Macromedia Flash project page. So I've just created a blank project. I'm just going to create some rectangles here. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy that and I'll make our second one how about purple. So we've got two different buttons here on our stage. I'm going to go ahead and convert them to buttons by selecting each shape pressing the F8 shortcut key and then selecting button and pressing OK. Okay, So I've created two buttons here. I'll go ahead and add some text to my orange button and I guess I'll just make this a web link how about. So we'll say visit our site and then we'll make that black so it shows up a little bit better and center it on our button. Maybe I'll make it a little bit larger. There we go. That's good enough. I'm going to put that in my clipboard and go on top of the purple button and add some text to it. In this particular case I'm going to change the text so that it says uh, how about exit application. That's a simple button to make. Okay, so I'll go ahead and center that a little bit and we're ready to go. I'm going to center these onto my stage. And now what we need to do is add our FS commands to these buttons so that they can trigger the corresponding actions in our Autoplay Media Studio file. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to synchronize actions from our Flash movie with actions in our Autoplay Media Studio application. So I'm going to click on the Visit Our Site button and in the Actions palette I'm going to go ahead and add an FS command. So I'll open up my Actions palette and I'll type in On Release, so that's the event handler for the button, and I'm going to type in FS command Oops. and then I'm just going to give it a name. In this particular case we're trying to trigger a web link so I'll name it something meaningful. I'll call this web. I'll go ahead and close my actions editor and I'm going to select my exit application button now and go back into the actions editor and add an FS command to it so I'll use the on release event handler again and inside there I'm going to type my FS command. In this particular case, I'm going to name it something meaningful for the event, which is an exit button, so we'll name it Exit. Okay, so that's it for our Flash movie. It's all built. It's ready to go. Actually, I'm going to change the background color to something a little more exciting. There we go. Maybe. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and export that movie by going to File, Export Movie, and I'm placing it in the Flash folder of an empty Autoplay Media Studio project folder. Okay, so I've created an empty project here in Autoplay Media Studio and in my project folder in the flash folder that's where I published my Swift so now I can just drag that onto my stage and align it and I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and select pin as well so it won't move around on me. I'm going to double click it and in the actions area here you see there's the on FS command event handler we're going to go ahead and detect that FS command. So we created two FS commands for two buttons. One was web and one was exit. So we have to test for those two. So we'll say if E FS command equals in this particular case we'll use the web test first then okay so we're using that built-in variable EFS command to test for the the name of the FS command which is fired from the flash object. In this particular case we're testing to see if it equals web. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and paste that and in the second case here I'm just going to change where it says web to say exit. And now we can trigger whatever actions we want based upon those buttons. That's all it takes. We'll go ahead and add an application exit action to our second one here so that when we click the application exit button it actually exits the application. Okay, And in the um, first one here we'll go ahead and use the action wizard to add a file open URL action. So we'll click add action button and from the file family we'll choose the open URL action double click on it and we'll just type our web address name into the field here. We'll press finish and then OK and we'll test our application. I'll press F5 to preview. As you can see here, we're presenting with our Flash movie with the two buttons. When I click on the Visit Our Site button, I'm presented with our website. It opened it up in a 
my default browser. I'll go ahead and close that. <coughs> and you can see our second button here, the Exit Application button. When I click on that, it actually exits our application. So that's a simple example of using FS commands, and we'll just review it really quick. We created two buttons in Flash, and we added FS commands to each of them. In the first case, we added an FS command called Web to our Visit Our Site button, and an FS command called Exit to our Exit Application button in the second case. And then we exported that, drag and dropped it into our Autoplay Media Studio file, double clicked it, and in the on FS command event area here, we added some actions. And what we added was two if uh, conditionals, and we tested to see what the name of the FS command was. In the first case, we tested to see if it was web, and if it was, in this case, we triggered a file open URL action, which was pointed to our website. And in the second case here, we triggered an application exit action when the FS command fired was exit. Okay, so it's a very simple example. Hopefully everybody's getting the hang of this FS command thing now. We started off a little slow, and now we're going to start working up quickly to some more complicated examples. So let's go on to the next.